and welcome back to our channel today we're going to cook some new orleans style gumbo a lot of the stuff i already have is prepped so we're just going to get started i'm going to show you my ingredients that i will be using and we're just going to make a small pot of gumbo just a small pot and as you know we are from new orleans so this is something that's passed down it's not something that you get instructions to it is something that you watch and learn so this is how I make my gumbo. And I used to be the only one that makes gumbo besides twin making it at work. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you some of the things I already have prepped. So that is a plus. So that was easy for me to just get up and start. I don't use a chicken stock like some people do, but I'll show you my ingredients. Okay, the first thing I have is some Louisiana Patton hot sauces. I roll them into balls. I have some tonal saturates. No salt because I can't have too much salt. We have some red ground pepper, which is like cayenne pepper. I have some Mrs. Stash, some garlic powder. I have my Louisiana fresh shrimp that I purchased when I was home. They already peeled and deveined. I have some blue crabs that are clean. This is some blue crabs that are clean. I have some chicken gizzards, some smoked sausage. I also have some chicken thighs. Back here, I have some shrimp stock. When I peel the shrimp, I used the um, I used a couple of shrimp and stuff, and the heads and stuff, and the tails, and I made a shrimp stock. Gives it a little bit more flavor. And you cannot forget the gumbo fillet. This is. Some that Dexter uses that work, so we're gonna try it because I did forget the Zatarain's filet. And I have my cut season already pre-cut, so let's get started. I'm gonna put my um, my seafood back in the refrigerator until later, because I'm not gonna use it right now. So it can stay cold and fresh. All my seasoning to the side. We're gonna start off by putting what we call the Maracuas which is the cut season. Then you need some cooking oil. And we're gonna add some cut season. And let that cook down. While that is cooking, we're gonna start with our smoked sausage because it needs to be cooked to get some of the grease out of it. So I have a skillet. Turn that on. Just gonna put that in there. That's gonna start cooking so it can brown. We don't want no uncooked meat, which which the the stock is gonna cook itself, but like to cook it, get some of the grease out of it. And for your hot sauces, we're gonna add the cayenne pepper because we like the spicy. And this here, we're gonna cook as well. We're gonna cook it in the microwave since I already have it in the container. I'm gonna cook it in the microwave. One of the hardest things people ask about cooking New Orleans style gumbo is making a roux. But they have so many ways that you can fix it. There are things that you can buy in a store now, roof that you can buy in a store, which doesn't taste the same, but you can use it. They have the Zatarain gumbo box mix, which you can use as well. So I'm put this in the microwave on three, three minutes. This is my water level for my pot. I add the shrimp stock, which gives it some flavor. Some people use chicken broth, like I said before. You can get the seafood stock 
if you're in New Orleans, you can get a um a thing of sequels that they sell it there. But when you go other places, they don't have it. Like here in Memphis, they don't have it. The only thing that I found in Memphis was that I I could get back home was the um the blue crabs. So our pot has come to a boil. So I'm gonna add. That way it can be a little bit more tender and make sure they're clean. I didn't cut mine because it's just me and Dexter. Start adding some seeds into it. We're gonna add Tony Satcher's no salt. Show you how to do that. Okay, now we're gonna make our roux. 
So I took my shrimp and my crab out. Set that to the side. The pot is still boiling, which is good. But we're gonna turn it on low. It smells so good. We're gonna turn on our skillet to make our roux. And I do not measure, as I told you before, for you some flour, some cooking oil, and just add some cooking oil to your skillet. Make sure you have enough oil in the skillet. Wait till your grease gets hot, and then we're gonna do the do with that. I'm gonna add my shrimp and my chicken at the same time. But I'm gonna do my roux first because I don't wanna mess it up. Make sure you have your bent on or your stove because when it starts burning, your fire alarm might go on. You see, it's just going to create down, put down to a paste. But we want this to brown, so we just want to mix it. already clean as I told you before. I don't know what it is about Louisiana shrimp. Maybe it's the taste of it. It's getting a color that I want it to be. Okay, I have my roux the color I want it. So I'm just gonna set that aside. My chicken. I'm gonna cut up like two chicken thighs. Lastly, I'm going to add And you see the color of the pot now, so it's just going to darken it up just a little. And mix it around so it won't lump up. I do not like a bright white Now we're going to add our crabs. take long for your shrimp and your chicken to cook. And a little bit more water. So now we're going to add our gumbo filet. So how the pot was looking. So it's good. They just have to add their own salt. So I'm going to add the gumbo filet. 
put some on a spoon, then I'm going to stir it into the pot. this recipe I will leave all the ingredients down below as I told you before I do not measure so it's to your liking but these are the main ingredients that we use in New Orleans style seafood filet gumbo so leave us a thumbs up if you like our video if you want to see more cooking videos I will get twin in the kitchen and he'll show you some things that he likes to fix but this is one of the dishes that I fix all the time for the house so don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thumbs up this video and continue to watch.